Have you ever used a fan and sat down but it just wasn't hitting the right spots for you? Like when it's not hitting your legs or face or when it's blowing too high and then you have to get up every time and adjust it? Well, I came across this situation recently and in this video, we're going to solve this problem by making a wireless fan that you can fully control using your phone. You can rotate it left and right, tilt it up and down, control the speed of the fan, select start and end positions of the rotation and control the speed of the rotation. In this video, we're going to see how we can do all of this. In the design that I came up with, there are six main parts that make up the fan. The base, which acts like the housing for everything and provides support so it can be placed on flat surfaces with no issues like tipping over, the lid, the motor shaft connector which connects the bottom part and the top part together, the top part to hold the fan, the left fan attachment which connects the top part and the fan together, the right fan attachment which connects the right side of the fan to the top part for stability. Initially I did not have a right fan attachment which caused the fan to be very wobbly and not be able to rotate freely without hitting the bottom of the top part. So adding the support ensured smooth and consistent rotation. There were two main motions that was needed for the fan. Rotation and tilt. For the rotation, a stepper motor is used which is attached to the motor shaft connector to rotate the hold of the top part. And for the tilt motion, a servo motor is used that is attached to the left fan attachments to rotate the fan. Let's now go over all the components used in this project. For the actual fan, the fan itself, the thing that spins, there were a few options that I considered. One of them is using a DC motor and 3D print my custom fan blades. However, I quickly realized that DC motors are very loud and will not be a good option as we all like that relaxing, soothing fan noise. I also looked at other motors that were supposed to be quiet, but they were either AC power, which I don't know how to work with, or they were simply too expensive for this kind of project. I also tried taking a motor from an existing fan, but it was AC powered, which I have no experience in and was too large. So what I ended up using is a normal PC fan, which worked out surprisingly well. I chose one with a PWM pin, which meant that the speed of the fan can be controlled with a microcontroller very easily which is exactly what we need because we want to be able to control how fast the fan spins. The fan I chose is the NFA14. It's a 140mm fan and has a max RPM of 3000. However, any 140mm fan will work as long as it has the PWM pin. For the rotation of the fan, I chose the NEMA 17 stepper motor with the A4988 stepper motor driver. For the tilt, I chose a 5kg servo motor specifically the DS04 NFC. For the microcontroller, I chose the ESP32. It has built-in Wi-Fi, which is needed for the wireless connectivity. The fan and the stepper motor needs 12 volts to operate. So we need a power supply of 12 volts, which can provide five amps of current, which is what is needed for this project. I chose to get this power using the mains, using a DC power jack cable. Since we're using 12 volts power supply, we need to step down the voltage for the microcontroller and the server as they require 5 volts to operate. For this, I use the LM2596 buck converter, which takes an input voltage range from 3 to 40 volts and steps it down to your chosen voltage by turning this bolt. For the wiring for this project, it's very simple since all the controls are on the phone, so we only need to connect the components together. The microcontroller, power with 100 microfarad capacitor for filtering to deal with voltage spikes to keep the power smooth. The fan, the step down converter, the servo motor, the stepper driver, and the stepper motor. I added a switch between pins two, three, and four for the stepper driver 
which allows you to switch between 8th and 16th step for some flexibility and preference so it's not fully hardwired. After I ensured everything worked on the breadboard, I made a strip board to have a small footprint. Here is the wiring for the strip board if needed. This way with the strip board, all that is needed is to connect the main components and it makes all the wiring simple and have a small footprint, which is ideal for the housing in the base. Regarding the 3D printed parts, for the motor shaft connector, the top part and the left fan attachment part, I used 3mm threaded insert nuts to ensure the connection is as strong as possible. For the phone wireless connectivity, I used the Blink app, which is a very easy to use platform that allows you to connect Arduino boards to your phone using Wi-Fi. First, you need to install the Blink app on your phone, create a new project, choose a project name and select ESP32 dev board and Wi-Fi as the project options. Then add two buttons for the tilt up and down, a slider for the fan speed, Make sure you change the slides range from 0 to 4095. A button to toggle auto mode. Ensure it is a switch and not a push button. Another slider for the rotation speed. And make its range from 50 to 300. Add two buttons to rotate left and right. And two final buttons to set the start and end positions of the rotation. Ensure that all virtual pins matches with this layout. After all the widgets are added, go to the project settings and make sure the notified devices when app connected is turned on. And that's all the setup you need to do on your phone. Once that is all done in the code, you only need to change a few things. The Blink authentication code, which you would have received by email from Blink when you created the project on the phone. The Wi-Fi name and password. Once you've made these changes, just upload the code to the ESP32. After everything is connected and the code is uploaded, turn it on using the switch. You can now control the tilt of the fan using the top two buttons. Control the speed of the fan using the first slider. Toggle auto rotation mode. Turn the fan manually using the right and left buttons. You can also set the start and end positions of the rotation when it is in auto mode. So you can move it to a start position you want, set the start position, then move it to the end position and set the end position. Now when it is in auto mode, it will rotate from the start and end position that you set at your chosen rotation speed. Every time you turn it off, it will remember the fan speed and rotation speed you had chosen. So every time you turn it on, it will spin and rotate using the last options you had selected for convenience. And that's all. Now you know how to easily make your own wireless fan. It's a great project to tackle if you want to learn the basics of servos and stepper motors and how to control them. I highly recommend going over the code and seeing how everything is done. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed or found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next project.